What's going on out there, YouTube? Y'all know me already. I'm not going to introduce myself. Wendell Lee Well Services coming back at you again. It won't ever quit raining, so I guess we're not going to stop making videos. Good opportunity as ever. Uh, just wanted to do a quick shout out to YouTube Nation out there. Appreciate all the comments we've been getting. Appreciate you smashing the thumbs up button. We've been getting a lot of feedback on that. Been getting been getting subscribers, staying tuned into our channel, leaving us comments about video tips. We appreciate you watching. Uh, appreciate that. And as always, I, I enjoy making the videos and being able to follow up on topics that, that you, the audience, have brought up to us to do. So here we go again today. This is a topic we're going to talk about. What is a liner? How to install in a, a liner in a well? What's the point of them? How do they work? Long story short, a liner is what well drillers or well contractors refer to as a packer, okay? So, let's get down and dirty right here. This is a packer. This is a version of a packer. They make different packers. This is the packer that we typically install, okay? This is a they, this is just a pretty much a rubber packer, four by six and a quarter inch packer. And the purpose of it is, is as you can see, it's made to go through this well casing here and seal off any issues with sediment leaking around the casing or a spot down below the casing where you have sediment coming in or to fix casing that may be galvanized or steel that's been in 45 or 50 years and that's rotting out. Okay. Typically, you know, this happens, customers call, they have a well, five inch or six inch wells, 45, 50 years old, they have casing that's rotting out. I'm getting a lot of sediment in my water. I'm, my water's dingy or muddy. Um, this can be some of the symptoms you can be having to warrant installing a packer. Okay, so here it is. This is how they're installed. So I've got a mock well simulated here. Imagine this being the top of the well, this sport bench here being the bottom. Okay, so the packer has to be installed through the top, and I'm going to demonstrate it here. And I'm not doing this because we already got a blooper video coming up. We tried to get it through there and show that to you, and it took all I could do to get it back out. So not doing that. But just envision this packer coming in from the top. As you can see, it is very, come on, don't fall. It is very tight. And it takes a, generally it takes a well drilling rig or some kind of uh, mini excavator or something to push these down to, get these down in place, okay? So these go all the way through the casing. So again, I'm simulating the top of the ground being here, the bottom of the casing being here, the bottom of the well head being here. These have to go through the casing to a point down below the casing and then stop. And the point of it is, is let's say you have casing that's 50 years old and this has deteriorated around where this casing's sitting on the rock, or it's deteriorated up here and the integrity of the casing's been compromised, you don't have a wall of casing anymore. The point of it is, is as that sediment keeps falling in, it, it hits this area and stops. And then down below it is clean. That's the point of the liner. That's how liners work. Okay? You know, it doesn't matter 
you know, this depth of casing here, you know, it can be 40 feet down, 140 feet down, however far down, it doesn't matter. Concept's still the same. Packer has to go down, or a liner has to go down below the depth of the casing, below where the problem is, problem area is. Whether it's the casing deteriorating or whether it's a soft spot down below where the casing was set, where a bunch of sediment's coming in. Okay, so I know what some of the questions y'all are asking out there is, okay, you get that installed. Can we just leave it like that? Absolutely not. This has to be hooked onto a pipe and transported back all the way up to the top. Now I'm simulating a six inch casing with a four inch pipe attached to it. This is obviously so where you can get a typical residential four inch pump through this hole so it will work. All right, so you have to install the packer like so. This pipe here goes all the way up to the top and it has to be secured in place so this can't move. Um, typically that's done by, you know, drilling three or four holes in the side here and bolting them down so they won't move. Pretty self-explanatory, um, but sometimes you arise into other issues, and this has happened before where you set casing on a good solid rock, and you drill down, and you hit a spot with a lot of water that has a lot of sediment coming into it, okay? So you have to be able to clean the well up, but let's just say bottom of the casing's here, there's a spot right here that has sediment coming into it, but there's 30 gallons a minute coming through it. Okay. So you can get the packer down below the water, but if you do that, you're choking all the water off from getting down in the hole. So in that case, you have to install a screen pipe. And all a screen pipe is, is it's this same pipe with, with holes in it, a slotted. And if you had water coming in the well like this, you would simply install a slotted pipe down right here to allow the water to come in the hole and install a filter pack, gravel or whatever fil filter pack method of your choosing that works well to filter the sediment out coming into the well. That's a liner. That's how liners work. Um, typically you try to avoid using them if you can, but there are just some cases where it's mother nature. And even on new constructions, new wells, sometimes these have to be used to make a well work. Um, they can be installed on older wells that have casing on them that may be rotting out. These are gonna, these are gonna stop your sediment problems. This is a six and a quarter inch packer by four inch. You know, they make packers for eight inch wells, six inch wells, whatever size well you have. I don't think they make them down below four inch mainly. Uh, we typically use stuff that's in the uh, six and a quarter inch range. So there's the gist. Um, not a whole lot to it. This is made by uh, West, Western Rubber Products. Not really that much money. You know, you're paying for this. This, this packer might be 150 or 200 bucks, and then, you know, whatever, whatever pipe you need to get it from here all the way up out the hole. Um, that's typically going to be your cost. And then if you have to run screen pipe, like I said, you know, that's, that, that's typically all you're going to have in it. So if you're having sediment issues out there and you've got a well that's older, you know, it's something you can, having your well contractor maybe possibly come out and take a look at, you know, sometimes depending on your situation, it can be just as easy just to go out and drill another well in the ground. But there are options out there for you. It just depends on what's best for you, the customer. So a liner or a packer, here they are. Hope you learned all about them. Feel free to leave some comments. Let me know what you think. If you have any other questions, hopefully I explain the concept behind them very well. But here we are, another job well done. Thanks for watching. St stay tuned for more videos.